Okay, so today we're going to look at an, an interesting example of how we can create a custom view. So I created a custom module and for that custom module I want to add a new view which is called bulk storage edit. And um, the way that we do it is we basically create the file inside custom modules, um, name of your module, views, and then you put it in the format view dot the name of your custom view. Once you've created the file, the way that it looks like, uh, in my case, because I'm editing the view edit um, class, it's going to be, first of all, requiring the, uh, the edit view file that contains this class. And we can see it here. If we navigate to it, it shows us that this is the, the class that contains um, so it contains this class, basically that file. The format here for the class name is going to be name of your module followed by the word view. So this is not going to change. It's always going to be the word view followed by your custom action. In my case, it's bulk storage edit. So this is what you have here. Um, it's basically, it's repeated here. Then I just have my method display. I'm uh, going to just echo some stuff at the very top. And then I'm going to call the parent method display here. So it's just like a, a, an example that you can see that it actually works. So if we launch the file, if we launch that action, and you can see I did it by going to the name of the module, action being my custom action name. I get this error here, so there's no action by that name. And that actually, you're going, going to get that error if you follow the, the Sweet CRM tutorial that, that's, that's provided by the official, uh, on the official Sweet CRM website. Uh, and the reason for that is because we need to do one extra step, which is registering that action. And the way that we register it is extremely simple. You just go to custom, extension, modules, name of the module, ext, action view map, and you create the a file which is basically the name of your action which is going to contain action view map name of your action equals name of your action so once this is registered if we refresh it we're going to do a repair navigate here if we do repair it does show us our custom view which is exact, uh, accessible uh, via this URL and by the way just a, I guess a little bonus tip here I added it through by adding it to the menu on the left side here and the way that you can edit it to the uh, edit to the menu is by basically going to the file which is called menu.php which is unfortunately in a non-upgrade safe location. So it's not custom modules, name of the module, it's actually inside modules, module name, menu.php. So I added it, uh, added it here by calling the action as my custom action name, and it brings up my custom action, AKA view. If you found the video at all helpful, please uh, subscribe. I'll be making more of these in the future. Uh, and leave a like if you don't mind. Thank you so much and have a great day.